Hello and welcome back to another set of readings of Lotus Love Tarot 555. Okay, you guys, I am here for your November general reading. Oh my gosh, we are in November. Can you believe this? So listen, I always begin the readings by telling you thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your love and support that you continue to give this channel. I read all of your comments. You have no idea how it inspires me to continue to do what I'm doing for you. Now, just a little bit about this reading. You can apply this to your sun, your moon, your rising, and for even some, even your Venus sign. Hello to our cross watchers out there. Keep in mind that these energies will flip flop, okay? So if it doesn't relate to you, it could definitely relate to your partner. Also, you could be picking up on an energy that is surrounding you, so keep that in mind as well. Now, even though we're slating this for November, keep in mind there's no time limit to these readings, so it could be something that you know, you hear that happened a couple months ago. Could be something that's going on right now. Could be something that's coming in for your future. So always keep that in mind. You guys, follow us on Instagram at Lotus Love Tarot 555. Okay, don't forget I do your weekly love messages and twin flame um, love reading advice and twin flame messages every Sunday. Every Sunday. So you can see um, the Romance Angel answers on our Instagram for free. Or if you want to join our Patreon for as low as $2.22 per month, you'll get an opportunity to see the messages every Sunday. Now, we do extendeds as well. So if you want to see all of the extendeds, just check out our Patreon for as low as $5.55 per month. You guys, it is well worth it. What is this car? See? Patience and planning. Have some patience and planning in your life to get everything in order and everything will be all right. All right, you guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Can you do me a favor and subscribe? So every, if you hit that bell uh, right next to the subscribe button, every time I release a reading, you'll be notified. And please, please, please remember to give us a thumbs up because that helps push the readings out a little further. I don't know, something sometimes is going on with the, I don't know, with with the background of uh, getting the message out and the notifications. So it really helps a lot when you uh, give those thumbs up. All right, you guys, don't forget I do private readings. And um, information pertaining to that can be found below. I'm ready to get into your readings now. Golly, we are into November. Here we go. All right, you guys, this will be a reading for all of our fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Um, you all will definitely be bringing in different storylines. So even though we're doing the, um, the reading all in one, um, we'll be doing separate storylines. And then we'll do the tarot for the entire fire, fire sign element, okay? Uh, which generally, it always ties in, believe it or not. So let's just see what's happening with you guys individually. What storyline is being built for our fire signs today? Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, the Universe, what messages need to, need to go forth for Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius as it relates to the general reading for November 2020? What messages need to go forth for Aries? Okay, that'd be Leo. That's Leo. Okay, two for Leo. Aries. Okay, thank you, Aries. Okay, Sagittarius. Thank you, Sagittarius. Okay. We are starting with a bang. Okay. Holy Spirit, God, create the universe. What messages they go for? For our fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. What messages need to go for? For our fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. What messages need to go for? For November. Okay. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Thank you so much. All right. Holy Spirit, Divine Fair Universal messages need to go forth for our fire signs. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. What messages need to go forth for our fire signs? Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Thank you. Aries, Leo. Okay. Sagittarius. Good message for Sagittarius. Thank you so much. Had a flipper. All right, you guys. So let's begin to see what is going on. We'll start with Aries. This is for the month of November. Ooh, envy. Okay. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. So be careful about envy or being envious of someone. Or someone could be envious of you, but I feel like this could be an energy that you are um, spewing. 
Um, so make sure that you hone in on this if you feel it, you know, coming up. If you feel uh, you become an envious of someone or something that someone may have, be careful about this um, energy for the month of November. And that is coupled with new beginnings. So you could be envious of somebody's new beginnings. Okay. So be careful about this. And I don't know why um, somebody is envious of somebody's new beginnings. I don't feel like this is the new beginnings happening for the person that's envious. I feel like they're envious of somebody that has a new beginning. See, this person's kind of stepping on the world. And somebody's envious, envious of this. Somebody's envious of somebody starting over again. Yeah, so you're needing to forgive something from the past. Wow. Okay, this is like so profound already. You're needing to forgive and move on from and not be envious of somebody's new beginning. Somebody could have left somebody and now they have a new beginning. <clears throat> somebody could be envious of that. And forgiveness is really needing to come into play uh, with that situation. That is profound. That is, that is like, it's, it almost gave me chills. All right. Um, Leah, indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. So you're you're with this energy in November, you're being very indecisive about someone or something. Okay. So you really need to concentrate on making decisions, okay, and not be indecisive. Really know what you want, really know what you need in a situation. Um, you could be indecisive indecisive about love in order to um possibly <coughs> I'm sorry be deciding if you want to commit to love <coughs> boy that that got me choked up give me a second here let me get some glad i brought my water over here oh goodness why did i get choked up on that maybe that's how you are maybe you're you're choked up on really deciding about this love situation and it really has you choked up because <clears throat> that's not too often that happens to me. The thing about it is just calm down and the spirit will lead you and guide you in the way that you need to go. Spirit's going to lead and guide you in this. Just commit to yourself and commit to doing the right thing and it'll work out. Wow, somebody is... Oh, we got two cards here. Moving on. Oh, wow. Oh, gosh. Okay. So, somebody's indecisive about love and they're deciding whether they want to move on or not. Wow. This is so profound. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. The Spirit is telling you to take action. You got to make a decision whether you're moving on or not. And this is about love. Oh, my gosh. Does it? I mean, I, it doesn't get any plainer than this, you guys. I mean, the writing is like clearly on the wall. Somebody has to make a decision about moving on about love and then take an action whatever you want to do either you're going to commit or you're going to move on and Sagittarius you have worry I'm learning that worry doesn't change an outcome you're worried about something someone something okay um, worry is definitely here and here you got patience and planning. So maybe that car in the beginning was picking up on you guys' e energy. You're worried about um, having patience and planning, possibly about your future. You're worried about your future and what your future outlook is. And you're understanding that you're needing to have patience that you may not be able to just make things happen. Or you may want to try to control the narrative and, and that might not be able to happen the way that you want it to. But you're needing to have patience and planning. Uh, patience and planning about your situation and where you need to go and how you need to do it. And you might need some people that's going to help you in this situation. So don't shy away from people trying to help you. Um, plan. Don't shy away from you know people trying to assist you in um, helping you. I feel like somebody needs to help you plan something and you're worried about it. And possibly, you possibly don't want the help from people, from the person or the people that want to give it. But you know you might need their help. Wow. That's what I'm picking up. Oh, my goodness. These storylines are just, like, unbelievable. So, let's just see what the tarot is pulling. Oh, 
Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit of the Universe, what messages need to be for for the signs of Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo as it relates to the general reading for November 2020. What messages need to go for for Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius? What messages need to go for for Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius? November 2020. Okay. Any more messages? Yep. There they go. All right. All right. So you guys have the devil, the eight of pentacles in reverse, the four of cups in reverse, the six of wands, the Six of Pentacles, and your overarching energy is the King of Cups in reverse. All right, so your angel number that is coming through um, definitely could be 66666. Make sure you look up the sixes um, for angel numbers. You could be done with the Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. This could be you, could be you, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, or Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But keep in mind, it could be any sign. They're just taking on the energy of the sign. We're starting a reading with something that is toxic, um, something that is not um, good for you, for sure. Could be someone or something that you're doing, someone you're involving yourself with, a behavior that you're having, but it's hurting you. It's bringing harm to you. It is not helping your highest good at all, okay? This could be the, env the envy um, that we're seeing in Aries. This could be the forgiveness that needs to take place. This could be... Leo not being able to make a decision. This could be the worry in Sagittarius. That's what I'm saying. So all of you all, this is the first thing that is coming forth. And then this is stopping you from being able to produce. This is stopping you from being able to have um, a get up and go about you. Uh, with the eight of pentacles in reverse, this is, you know, not really focusing on yourself. Okay, not really focusing on uh, what you need to do, not having any motivation, um, not being no passion, not being inspired to move on, to make the decision um, that you need to make. And Spirit is saying here that you're going to have an awareness of what you need to do and how you need to do it. And this is you finally deciding that you're going to choose the best decision for you. You're going to choose happiness. You're going to finally become aware of what you need to do. You're not going to think about it anymore. And that's when you're going to start focusing on you. So see how it changes from having no motivation to now becoming aware and to now I'm going to focus on me that makes me, what makes me happy. I'm going to surround myself with people that applaud and recognize me for who I am and the gifts that I, I, I bring to the table. This is the decision that Leo might, you know, decide as far as choosing love. Well, who is the person that makes you feel like this, right? Sagittarius, who are the helpful people that are make, going to make you feel like this? Um, Aries, who are the people that's going to move you out of that space of wanting to be envy and now really applauding you for who you are and recognizing you for who you are and realizing that this, this is the energy that you need to be in, even if you're doing this for yourself. And then now that being coupled with the six of pentacles, this is, um, if you'll notice, they're looking in the same direction. That means that even though this is, was not an equal give or take, possibly a relationship, um, I'm recognizing me for who I am, Okay. I'm looking in this direction as far as I know that even though I might recognize myself or people might recognize me for who I am, I might be walking to a situation that same, still seem, may not seem fair, okay? May not be equal, okay? But as long as I'm being recognized for who I am, I'm going to kind of have to look past this. And this is what Spirit is saying. You may have to look past this energy where it's not fair, where it's not equal for you. And then your overarching energy is the King of Cups in reverse, which is recognizing somebody who is, you know, cold, somebody who is a manipulator, somebody who's giving bad advice. And so be careful about this energy as you're moving towards, um, moving into November. Try to stay away from people who are very cold, giving bad advice, or trying to manipulate a situation. Or if this is you with these energies, be careful. Be very, very careful, okay? Let's look behind here a little bit. Yeah, because see, grief disappointment this is what you're, you're looking at right now because again justice in reverse things not being treated fairly pisces cancer scorpio libra energy here ace of cups this is being blocked 
okay? Queen of Wands, this is the energy that you're needing to be in, or this is the per could be a person around you that is making you understand who you are. Queen of Wands is like a business mindset, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Queen of Wands is an energy that's very feisty, that says what they need to say. So in order to come become unblocked, maybe that's what you need to do. You need to really speak up and say what you need to say, okay? Because right now, this is the worry, the wor worry warrior, okay? Um, worried about the past, um, taking a, a stance of defense here um, with the nine of uh, nine of wands here, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. This is maintaining your boundaries, you know, not really allowing anybody to cross your boundaries, not really trusting um, anyone um, possibly here. This is, you know, kind of taking your last stance in a situation because you were betrayed. Okay, you feel betrayed in a situation. Aries, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. And uh, when I get the Three of Pentacles, it just generally means that, again, being betrayed possibly from a third-party situation or not working as a, feel like you're not working as a team or needing to work as a team or feeling a betrayal on that. And that's why Spirit had to bring the tower or the tower is coming because apparently this is not working, okay? I always look at this sometimes as a counselor trying to speak to a couple as well and that that's not working, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. And that's why you've been up worrying at night, okay? And if we don't turn this around with this King of Pentacles in reverse, somebody's going to walk away. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. All right, you guys, if you want to do a private reading, information pertaining to that can be found below. Until next time, bye-bye.